Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So, if you can't tell already, my voice is like gone. I've actually been sick this entire week and I thought for sure I was gonna be better by today. Today is Saturday actually when I'm filming this, which is my upload day and I'm not yet and I'm so frustrated because I had like another video planned in mind, but I've just been like coughing all week and so while I was thinking about something that I could do where I wouldn't have to talk too much in the video, I thought, hey, you know what? I'm gonna do a lip swatch video today, so that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm not sure if you guys saw, but earlier this week I actually posted about the Physicians Formula Butter Eyeshadow Palettes. I did partner up with Physicians Formula to announce those on my Instagram, so that was a partnership. This video is not sponsored though. They just sent this to me in PR and I'm so excited about them. I'm gonna be swatching the new Physicians Formula. I don't even know how to say this. Miru 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 Miru? The butter lipsticks. There are 12 shades. I have them all right here in front of me. You guys know how much I love Physicians Formula. Like I love Physicians Formula. The thing that I really love about them is I feel like every time they release something, it's always super, super good. I especially love their butter bronzers, obviously. And you guys probably know their healthy liquid lipsticks are like one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas of all time. So I was so excited to see these come in the mail and I'm gonna do a swatch video for you. I've kind of played around with them a couple times. They're extremely pigmented, but I wanted to show you guys like another option or another way to wear them. They're kind of like a tinted lip balm, but they're very, very pigmented. I'll just kind of show you. I noticed that I was either able to wear them, this is just an example before we get into the swatches, but I either like tap them on the lips like this and that gives me a nice like light coverage and it just feels like I applied a lip balm or you can go over it a few times and it just builds up. It makes a gorgeous, more glossy kind of finish. So in the swatch video, I am going to do the more bold version of what I just showed you, but just keep in mind that these are buildable and that you can just kind of do a wash of color if you want to, or you can swipe them on a few times to really build up the color. So I wanted to let you guys know that that was an option. I have a little paper that came in the mail with it. So just some facts about these lip creams. They have Takuma butter, Kapu Cow butter, and Mirror Mirror butter. Bless my heart. I don't know how to pronounce any of those. Conditioning essential fatty acids, protective SPF 15, and let's see, they retail for $7.95 at drugstores nationwide and at physiciansformula.com. So that's all the info basically. Again, there are 12 shades, so let's just get into the swatches, and at the end I'll kind of tell you guys my personal thoughts about them, and as always I'll share with you my personal favorite colors. So let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so those were the 12 swatches of these lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it helpful. The formula of these feels so hydrating. For me personally, I feel like kind of dabbing it on, especially with the darker colors, kind of allows you to get a little bit more of a sheer color, but it doesn't feel like it's out of control. I feel like when you layer it up too much, for me, my lips feel so like silky smooth and hydrated that it just feels a little out of control. I don't know if that makes any sense. Also, I've noticed the packaging can get kind of messy just because as soon as your lips touch the formula it melts the product and it just kind of feels like it gets a little bit messy so those are some things that I wanted to kind of touch on I really do love the color range I think that it's beautiful the only one that I was having major issues with was nights in Rio for some reason this one was so patchy and I couldn't get it to look good it was not like the others I'm not sure if it's just the one that I got or if that's what happens with this color so if you own this color nights in Rio let me know if it did the same thing on you or not my personal favorite colors were the ones that are a little bit on the lighter side I obviously really 
really did enjoy like Flamingo Pink and I think there's one in here called Pinkini as well that I really liked. I love Mauve into Brazil. I love Soaking Up the Sun. Those are just the colors that I personally would reach for with this kind of formula. The darker shades are really beautiful and they're actually not as patchy as some other similar kind of lip products that I've tested out. For some reason, other deeper shades in formulas like this tend to be a little bit patchy on me, but I feel like most of them were beautiful. The only one again was the Nights in Rio that I had issues with. If I were to wear the darker colors, I would definitely just do more of a sheer wash or if I wanted to build it up, I would probably use a lip liner. In fact, maybe I should try that. Let's try a lip liner with the one that I have on right now. Oh, also you guys will notice, look, it stains my lips. I'm not sure which one did that or if it's just the combo of all of them since I tried them all on. But this happened to me the other night as well because I tried on a few and it actually like stained my lips for a day or so. So just keep in mind that that does happen with some of the darker colors. Sometimes that might be nice in some ways if you are expecting it. But if it stains my lips for too long, sometimes I get a little annoyed. Uh, this did last on me for like a day. So I'm planning on having pink lips for a solid day. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with Vicia. I think this is the shade. This is from Thrive Cosmetics and I think it'll be a good match. So I'm gonna see what it does when I line and fill in the lips because I always fill in the lips with my lip liner. Also, speaking of Thrive Cosmetics, thank you guys so much for the amazing response that I got on the video that I filmed with the CEO, Carissa. I'm so glad you guys were as inspired as I have been by her. It was kind of something new for me to film something like that, but I just really wanted you guys to get to know her the way that I have this year. So I was so happy when she said yes to filming with me. It was just such a great experience and my husband and I flew ourselves out there just for that video. So to get such a good response from it was really great. I'm so grateful, you guys. Carissa was also so impressed at how kind you all were, and I never expect anything less from you guys. You guys are seriously the sweetest, so thanks again. I really am so glad that you enjoyed that video as much as I was hoping you would, because I personally really enjoyed filming it. So if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. So that's more of a hot pink lip liner. Was not uh, planning on that, but I'm gonna go back in with Acai Berry, and I'm just gonna kind of press on top until it kind of feels like a lip balm because I don't want to go overboard with a uh, product on my lips because again, I just feel like I can't control it once I kind of swipe on too many layers. I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it in with my finger. All right, so that's what it looks like with a darker color over top of a lip liner. I do really love how this looks. Again, just being real with you guys, I feel like I would definitely reach for the more neutral colors just because it can kind of get messy fast. And I feel like this would just be all over my face by the end of the day. So I would probably just use the darker shades as like a purposeful lip stain where I just dab it on and really buff it into my lips as more of a lip stain than like a full on pigmented kind of product, if that makes sense. Well, I'm really liking how this looks though. I'm gonna add a little more blush because I feel like I need some now that I've applied this color. I'm just taking this one. This is an hourglass one that's just sitting on my desk. I just want to be a little more rosy, you know? Well, there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this lip swatch video. Again, I'm so sorry about my voice. Hopefully it goes away soon. I usually put a star next to my favorite shades, so be sure to check the description box if you want to know what I personally would recommend. But I am really happy that Physicians Formula launched something like this since they only have like liquid lipsticks that I'm familiar with that I truly love and really wear. So I'm super excited to keep wearing these, especially the nude colors. It's always so fun for me to try out new things from the drugstore. Let me know if you've tried these out and what you think about them. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!